Check, check, check. Check, check. One, two. All right. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Staring at the city yes, with the yes. one and only. Hey, hey, you are staring at the city. It's Nathan. I got a very special guest with me here today. Go ahead and tell him your name it's and what you represent. Yes, yes. OAO Joe. Um, and I represent, man, just gratitude, mm. life, love, blessings, and a good time because that's what I like to have. Yeah. Based off of this conversation that we had so far and those shades, I know that there's a lot of gratitude, you know what I'm saying, existing in your heart. Um, let me ask you about your background, you know what I'm saying? Tell me about, uh, what's your background? How did, how did you come up with that name? For sure. Yeah. Um, so it's funny because OEO Joe is not my first name as an artist. Um, I dropped my first track in 2020, I think May. Um, Close okay. Close Your Eyes. And it was under Triple O Joe. Oh, that's your first... That was your first track? Yeah, that was I my first track. I heard that on DJ Low Show. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah first yeah. track ever back in 2020. And um, so really, OAO Joe came about because um, I feel like transparently my whole life, I didn't really have my own identity. Um, I was an athlete and I just, being an athlete, it's just a, that's a deep, that's a deep journey mm. and um, a deep system, I should say. And True. so, um, yeah, to keep it short, I just... Um, yeah, I realized I hadn't really had my own identity. Um, I had a tragic loss. Um, I lost my brother in 2019, and that really just shifted my perspective on life in itself. So I was like, okay, I got one life to live, you know what I'm saying? For me, now I'm an adult, you know, I can't, parents, coaches, none of that. At the end of the day, I'm, it's me. So what does that mean to me, and what does that look like, and what does that feel like? And I think that when I realized that about myself, I realized that in, in about pretty much everybody every individual and i was like everybody has their own story their own experience their own uniqueness which makes them one of one and they're one and only so mm. that's that's a little bit about how the name can it be about um and yeah just triple o it again the same the same concept one one of one one, one of and one. only but one i didn't i wanted it to look better to appeal better to the eye yeah. and that's why that's how i came up with it okay okay o a o one of one one and only yeah 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 Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Oh, and um okay, word. Tell me about uh what's your like how did you get into music? Like uh you know what I'm saying? Like were you just uh you said 2020? That's what I officially was when, like officially was someone like you, you got to get on the mic or like like tell me about that that story. Yeah, yeah. So, I grew up um rapping, writing my whole life like as a kid, I was just very keen to reading and writing. Um I got into poetry at a very young age. Word. Yeah. So um, that was always kind of, to me, I always looked at it from a educational lens rather than a creative freedom lens. I saw something on your IG uh, where you were in a school talking to some, talking to the youth. Yeah. Was that okay? Yeah. 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 So again, yeah, I'm, 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 for, I'm for the people. Yes. Um, um, so no, yeah, but that's kind of how it started. And then. I had a mentor, my god brother actually, he goes by the artist name Anthony Prophet, shout out him, shout out Anthony shout Prophet. Out. Um, he's out in Portland right now doing his thing, but um, I basically grew up with him. His godmom was my caregiver, and so, uh, excuse me, his grandma was my godmom and caregiver, and every day he would come up to me and say, spit something for me, spit something for me. There it is. At like three, three years old, I can remember that. So. Um, Rapping wise, that's where my my practice and my inspiration, I would say, came from. But I feel like I've I've just always had a natural ability to write, truthfully. So again, my brother passed in 2019, and after that is when I made the the real decision to pursue it officially. And that's when that first job came in 2020. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hmm. Tell me about uh, the ozone. How did you encounter the ozone? Ozone. Yeah. Shout out ozone. Yeah. Creations. Um. What's they say? Oh. Ozone. <laughs> For the <game> say ozone. <laughs> no. Shout out the family. Um. Love ozone to death, man. So talented. Uh. Um. I encountered ozone through summer. I yeah. met summer, March of 2021, and she basically was like, "Yo, these are my people. Tap in." And I did, I tapped in, and then that's how we came up with the song, Whatever. I met Obi for the first time. Um, I, it's me, Obi, Swank, 
That's what I was about to ask. You took, dang, yeah, you read my mind right there. Yup, 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 and uh, and Kion Rose. So, um, but yeah, that was that's kind of how it happened. I met him. He was like, "Oh, here, here, this track we just we just did. We just got back from Houston. Here, this track." I was like, "Hey, this one, this banging." Okay, and, but wait, wait, are, are you are, are you part of Ozone? No, not, not okay, not okay, okay. No. That's that's the clarification that no, I was looking for. I'm affiliated. Okay. A very affiliated. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm with the first lady, you know. So I'll be straight around. up. Yeah, to, to the point that I was like, okay, like that's like family, like family, right? Family, like, yeah, for real. yeah, yeah. Straight up. For real. Hell yeah. A lot of people aren't sure though, so. No, yeah. I hope I they watch this in oh, yeah. and they go, oh, okay. That's something I was afraid to ask. Because like I said, I'm, I'm just going to ask the questions that yeah. come to my mind. You feel ask me? Them. Ask them. <laughs> yeah, that part. Uh, what about that hat, the No Hate Club? That's how I feel. Straight up. No Hate Club. That way. Um, no, yeah. That's like a local? I said, local? Nah. Okay. Summer got that for me. Okay. I mean, Word. she be icing me out. I see that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I... I mean, I don't typically drink, but when I do, no, it's not Budweiser. Um, Me either. <laughs> but yeah, no, I really, yeah. this resonates. I try to represent myself in all different ways that I can in terms of expression. That's what I feel like yeah, it yeah. all boils down to as far as the music goes. So, Staring at the city. I'm just trying to like look and see. And I, maybe that was like a local brand or something, but no, yeah, it's no, all good. Shout out yeah. to local brands though. Yeah. Shop local. Shop local. Yeah. These traffic, traffic, like I said, black owned. Traffic again. Yeah, yeah. shop local. Traffic is that? Are they on IG? Oh uh, yeah, yep. Traffic LLC. LLC. You know what? And I it's spelled T R A F F I Q. With the Q, I yep, see yep, it. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Okay, word. Yeah. Okay. Shout out traffic. Yeah. Um. Uh, okay. But anything else you want to add about ozone? Man, they on their way. Yeah. Man, it's only a matter of time. Um. I think the most special thing about ozone to me is like the vibrational, the vibes really that. No matter where we're at, no matter where they're at, it's always going to be, like I said, good vibes. Mm. And I feel like that's unique to them as a group, but that's also unique to them as individuals because they all have their own different individual vibe. And it's been really uh, an honor. Mm. And I'm grateful to be able to experience all of them in different levels. And then as a group. That's love. For sure. Love. For real. Family, like I said. Yeah. And, um... And they also, yeah, meeting them and then just being tapped in. Like, Summer honestly opened a lot of different doors just as far as here's the places you should go. Here's the people you need to meet. And mm -hmm. now I feel like I know so many different people mm. in a way that rather than just knowing people, but people that I can resonate with and people that I feel like we, we think the same or we're like-minded um similar goals dj lo show dj lo yeah. shout out dj lo right. man just straight love you know what i'm saying that that genuinity there's mm -hmm. not not there's not a lot of it but it's it's not that that's something that is cold world <laughs> yeah you know of, of normalcy i should say yeah so. unfortunately right yeah but fortunately for like i said fortunately for me I, and us like we make we we we, we find enough people we find, we, we find the connection yeah. so we build a fire facts um okay tell me about what you see what do you see going on in the city what do you see who do you see what do you like what don't you like if you want to go there like what do you like you know what i'm saying talk about the city man the city yeah man twin cities man minnesota man it's a special place aha uh -huh. it's a special place uh we slept on mm. duh. <laughs> we slept on um which that's a whole nother story <laughs> i mean like i feel like like you, you i I mean, just straight up, I feel like you could, like, make the right moves and with the momentum you have, like, fuck, like, we, you, you don't need the whole city. Like, you could just do your own thing. You know what I'm saying? So when you say we slept on, I feel like that might be, like, a broad statement. I don't know, like, how slept on, like, your movement is because, I, I mean, at least personally, I see it. But when you say we slept on, sometimes I'm like, I just don't even know who we is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you That's know. valid. Yeah. I would, okay. When I say we, yeah, I mean, yeah. again, the people that I feel like have pure passion and devotion and deep rooted meaning in this shit. I feel like there's a lot of people that are not slept on that may not <laughs> have deep rooted hmm. passion in what they are doing. Hmm. Yet they may have those personable connections or they may have interesting that financial <laughs> 
Backing. Yeah. Backing. No, I hear you know it. I saying? hear it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so, or, and again, like, let's really talk about it rightfully. So, there are certain people that do that do have those things, and they get out, and they don't give a fuck about Minnesota. They don't give a fuck about the cities. They don't give a fuck about... Yeah. Because... What are what what were they getting? What were they receiving while they were here? So right? you feel like they might feel like uh, like slightly spiteful or almost like, or just like not like nonchalant. Which like, again, right? Who who are we to really know if unless we're having those conversations with those people with that with that person? Because right? everything is based off of what we see visually, based on the quote unquote media. So mm-hmm. it's it's to me like for me, I would love to be able to, as I have already in the short two years grow but to a to an extent where i can elevate past minnesota and still be able to come back here at the end of the day and still be able to call minnesota home i don't want to have to go me too to a different state to feel like i i reached my point of success i want to be able to reach my point of success here sure i can go other places yes there's so many different things to see outside of minnesota and i want to see those things but minnesota has so many different seeds of potential and fruition that I just wish that I truly believe deserves more more acknowledgement straight up that's why I'm still here I'm like I've thought a couple times like uh, Texas you know what I'm saying like man, hey, uh, Houston, Atlanta man, you know what I'm saying like, <laughs> but every time I'm just like uh, haven't like tried e- have you tried everything not yet you know what I'm saying so I'm just like just gotta go a little bit harder you feel me man just try a little bit Harder. Do you know everybody? Yeah. Have you met? Have you been right. in every? I, yeah, I mean circle. Have you? But I mean, like you saw my whiteboard. That's why NBAM. I call it North Base um, Art Marketing. So like, because mm. like I know eventually I, we got to expand out of here. Like eventually, yes. but like right now I'm still trying to really, you know what I'm saying? Like see what we can do here. Yeah. What, uh, what else? What else do you see? I don't want to. No, I feel you 100. percent Um, who do you see? Outside of like uh, Oyojo, outside of Ozone. You know what I'm saying? Who, uh, we talked about June the Kid. He love June, yep. man. Love June, man. June. Shout out to Basement Gang. Shout out Basement. June. Man. June specifically, though, I, he just, he, he, I could, I could, man, I could go on. Speak your mind. Man, June just, he's different. <laughs> like I said, he, to me, I feel like when I hear June speak, when I hear him rap, when I hear him do his art, when I watch him, I can feel him. I can listen and I can feel the same way that I that I feel when I see him. You know what I'm saying? And it's just something about the the pureness in it of the intentions and the passion that I feel like I can resonate with June. And that's why I fuck with him so heavy. Mm-hmm. Um a lot of different artists. Big Kia. Ah, Big Kia, man. Ah, let's talk. Let's talk, if you want to talk about passion. Ah, if you want to talk about passion <laughs> and dedication and hitters. and true roots. Big Kia, I think, is the youngest person to ever touch the stage at First Avenue. At from what I heard, too. from what I heard, yeah, yeah, Armory yeah. too. See, that, that, I mean, <laughs> that's new for me. Pro- I mean, like maybe not, but like, I mean, like that's major key. You know what I'm saying? You know like, what I'm saying? And it's uh, just, and again, like why, like what, at what, like what do you need to do in order for you to have? the proper amount of support you know what i'm saying like what because though like those two right there for ex- example like big Kia, one of her most recent things was she opened up at i want to say the target center with sophia Ayers for she did that too yeah she did i honestly forgot about that like Who, was it for lizzo or, what, lizzo it was for Li- uh, was lizzo. It the armory i think that was the armory no it was the target, it was target center. center okay yes. okay okay yeah i'm tripping then yeah, i'm just word. like she pride too i want to say once or twice and so it's just like what like, okay, you want to talk about accolades. You want to talk about stages you've touched. And then, like, what does somebody need to do in order to gain, at a bare minimum, just support? Nobody's asking you to be a, a hardcore fan. Nobody's, you know what I'm saying? But think about if you look at how we operate on this social media and the things that people not only consume their minds with and their thoughts, but what they regurgitate. Mm. It's like... There's so much power in genuinity. <laughs> and so yeah. as as deep as it is and as tough as it is, I feel like I'm a firm believer in divine timing. Mm. And I'm a firm believer in what's meant to be will be. Regardless, regardless of what happens, it's gonna work out. So man, it's a lot of it's a lot of good people. Like we said, Ice. Ice definitely, man. She, Ice had my back from the Shout jump. Out Icy Entertainment. Shout out Icy Entertainment, for real. Um, had my back from the jump. Um shh. It's, it's so many and it's so many it's so many people so many good things going on in the city that's just why i'm like we are slept on because that's there's a nice we right there <laughs> that's that that's what that's what i mean by we 
And I mean, just like realistically, if it wasn't for my boy Colin Makes Beats, ah. uh, we went to high school together. Mm. And because um, I was actually in college out of state and then I dropped out, came back home. And I was like, this is the only person I know with the studio that, that makes beats. Word. And he was like, come on through. And Respect. at the time, he was working with, I don't know if you've heard of 11th Ave before. Oh, yeah. That right yeah, up there. Yep, yep. Yeah. He was with them <laughs> at the time. Um, so I got tapped in with those guys as well. They went to the same high school we did. But yeah, he, he did my whole first project, my whole EP. And, and my solo, Close Your Eyes. Um, mm. So... Shout out my boy Collins makes beats. Um, met Nico there, Omega Nico. Shout out Nico. Okay, Nico, Nico. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. We got a couple tracks together. That's my boy too. He's one of the first artists, honestly, that I met when I came. Even though I'm from here, when I was, you when you away at school, things a lot of things could change in a year, you know, or two. I know. I went to school in Wisconsin for five years and came back like, oh. That's where I was at when I when I dropped out. I was in Milwaukee. See? Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> a lot changed. Uh, so yeah, shout out Colin and Nico, man. Um, who else really doing anything? Dark man, dark. You know who Dark is? Yeah. What you about to find out today? I'm about to send you a couple tracks. That's man. what it is. Staring we're at the city. And, we're just me and Dark man. Really? I looking, feel like you know. Not again. Just back to the genuinity. Like Summer introduced me to him way back at Urban Lights. Shout Urban out Lights, Tim. man. Shout yeah. out Urban Lights, man. Shout yeah. out Urban Lights for real. Like good people. Shout out Tim. Um, great people, great, again, great vibes. Just the, those things that you understand, but you can't necessarily explain. I can't really put many more words to it than the genuinity. Um, and Dark, ever since the day I met him, he's just always been a good person to me. And on top of that, I feel like as an artist, he challenged me. Because hmm. um, he's he has a very distinct sound, I feel like. And originally, when I started my music, I feel like I almost had a distinct sound. I was vibey. Singy, like close your eyes is very my lane, very R and B. As opposed, to, maybe I haven't heard some of your more recent stuff. Yeah, you got it. Have it's, you it's, do you, have you heard whatever? Nah. Yeah, I'm gonna play send you. Gonna... Play it for him. <laughs> I'll, I'll play it for you. Yeah. Um. If, if, if so, whatever. Want. Yeah, whatever is the track I did with. Um, and I'll put the link. I'll put the link right in the description. Yeah. For him, and, but that's the thing. Um, about I would say my music. Is um, I feel like I'm so versatile, and I feel like I was focused on trying to find my sound before I even gave myself a chance to just discover what possible sounds I could have. Like UK drill. Yeah, it's basically a drill track. That's the one, I, like I said, when I first tapped in with Ozone, they was fresh fresh out of Houston. They had went to Houston. And, uh, it's like, look at this track. I'm like, hey, this, this mug's sliding. Okay, so when I see when I see Obi, like, posting things in, like, Texas and stuff like that, that must be, uh, er, 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 who is it from Ozone that's post, always posting stuff from Texas? Prob or Arizona, you said? Or Arizona. I see someone posting something from a southern state. Oh, uh, oh! Uh, the ozone cast. It might have been. It might have been. Mac OC is it Mac? Mac be traveling to. Well, everybody be kind of dibbling, dabbling. Something like that. OBB, yeah. be, oh, we be down south sometimes. I know Kion Rose, who is also associated with Ozone. Yeah. He was living in Texas for a while. Okay, okay. All the associations. Because him and Obi did a whole project together. Cool. And he's also on that song that I was just playing. Yeah. So. That's a nice feel. Yeah. So you got that versatility. Versatility, yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, and I just, yeah. What are your inspirations? Yeah, what are your inspirations? Man, I got a lot, man. Go ahead. I mean, thinking back, back, I would say, like, growing up, I heard a lot of different Alicia Keys. Ah, like, oh my God. D'Angelo, but then I was also listening Alicia to Keys. Twister and Busta Rhymes and Eve and, man... Outcast and definitely Outcast, yeah. Man, like definitely Outcast. Is Outcast set the set almost almost set like okay, this is how this is what rap should be like for me for a good like year and a half, maybe yeah. two years. Yeah, I was you know, so love below. I didn't even I didn't even realize that Outcast was a group until <laughs> until like probably like four years. Is so cohesive, you know. <laughs> That cohesiveness. Who else? Right. Black Eyed Peas, of course. Black Eyed Peas. What about uh, more recent? Um, for sure, J Cole. Like, 
12 out of 10. Cole. Cole. Cole World. Absolutely. Um, Kendrick. Mm. Absolutely. Um, I'm trying to think of like some underground people that I really rock with. Um, oh, yeah. Like anyone from here, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Inspiration Outside wise. of the, the people You already shouted out Unless you want to Shout them out again Yeah Like oh, who's like I, I, I want to Listen to something It's just gonna make me Feel like I gotta go And get in the booth You know what I'm saying Like who who would make yeah. you uh, Maybe rewrite your bars Or something You know what I'm who saying Maybe like, rewrite my bars yeah. Or see, You know Nucky I I don't know Nucky you don't know Personally Nucky? Okay. <laughs> But okay. I I watched him perform One time yeah. I would say Maybe three four months ago I think And I fuck with him Heavy um, and I would love to I would love to get more connected with Nucky yeah. I grew up with uh, Juice Lord. Juice I was about to say Juice Grew up with Juice Lord. Yeah. That's family Shout out family oh, Shout yeah. out Juice um, He'll love On me <laughs> mm. uh, Hey Hey um, Juice Come on the show man <laughs> Hey man No he That's that's Mr. Hollywood He know I love him But that's Mr. Hollywood He He, he actually finna go on tour With Prof Good Yeah Good. On me yeah, On me It's deserved Man inspirational I'm psh- like, I'm just so connected to the words. Like, I really fuck with June. June definitely inspires me. June definitely inspires me. Um, Pro- wait, Prof is doing a tour? Prof I got it. Doing another okay. tour. I just heard you said. I was like, huh? Yeah. When, was that like most? That that must have been like just announced. Just then, huh? announced, like last okay, week. Like, yeah. Because with Juice Lord, I would definitely would have like noticed that. Okay. Yeah. Who yeah. else is Bayo? Cool. Is that Bayo? Oh, like, how you say wow. Bayo, Bayo. I don't even yeah, know. Yeah. 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 Dope. Number two. Yeah. 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 Um, Look at all the little pockets. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. There's so many different <laughs> pockets. Um, and yeah, it's that's why I'm just, like I said, I'm grateful to be tapped in. But Taste yeah. Supreme? I fuck with Taste Supreme. I've watched him perform. I love his energy. Again, the passion. Because he I was just with Prof. That's what made that's yep. what made me think of it. Him yep. and um, what, Prince Riley and... Prince Riley, yep. I, I don't think know they both opened up Prince for him. Riley yeah, is that, that yeah. I'm not too right. familiar with Prince Riley and them, but Taste Supreme, I rock with him too. Yeah. Um, Ricky Monique. Ricky Monique lyrically <laughs> is fire. <laughs> you see what I'm saying about the pockets? Like, there's so many different pockets, and that's the thing is like, see me. That's why I just like I said, I'm I'm so grateful because I feel like I'm such a multifaceted person, but I also can exist and coexist in so many different spaces and which allows me to be able to yeah know what I know who I know yeah and truthfully there's not every space isn't that way where this is accepting of different people yeah and it's also not other people are just gotta be yourself and say fuck all the rest you know the rest hey (laughs) you you owe it at the end of the day you're you're you're, you're, here's only one one you even if you have a twin (laughs) You're 28. Yeah. Um, uh, tell me about 2023 or or beyond. It's getting serious. No, it's been serious. Um, I got a project dropping. Two weeks actually. What's it called? Savory. Ooh. So my first EP was called Just, Ooh. Just a Taste. <laughs> that hit. That was nice. Like I had to like wait a second, but then it hit. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ooh. The savory, yeah, okay. Savory, yeah. Some, How many tracks? that lasts a little longer. Five. Perfect. I might, I might throw a bonus on it. I don't know. Uh-huh. Yeah. I intro. Yeah. Outro. Definitely in- intro. Interlude. Okay. Produced um, by. Honestly, there's a quite a few different people. Word. That helped me collab, but um, executively engineered, I would say, by Sticks. Shout out Sticks, man. Shout out Sticks. Um, definitely collab with Ozone. Um, I'm trying to think where the rest I got. I think all my beats, yeah. I mean, Sticks could do it alone. I don't even know Sticks like that, and I feel like I already know that Sticks could do it alone, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. honestly, transparently, it's um, it's been a long time coming on this project, so that's why I would say there's so many different. Which again, like yeah. over a year, like or two damn near two years, yeah, we're no cap. Hell yeah. But um, um, okay, so your last release was your last release was a sync was that single that you just told me about about and now it's a pro- a full project. No, my last release would have been the EP that I did. I think okay. was November third of twenty twenty, solo. My last solo release. So three years in the making. That's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. D- Damn. Break it down. Like what? Hits what are your different. goals for the project? What are your goals for like for yourself for the city or like any entities outside of yourself? Yeah. Just just break down this next year. Man, my goals are really me. just to. Show the growth and feel the growth um, at whatever capacity. Because I feel like realistically, it's easy to try to compare yourself or make your goals 
around what you see or what you see other people doing and okay so you yeah yeah you're, you're, you're like i don't even care like, i don't just, even yeah i just and and truthfully like already the the project itself is a to me is an evident testimony of of the growth so it's like i'm not gonna sit here and be like i want to get ten thousand streams in the first month okay word yeah yeah because <laughs> I've, I've, I've set goals like that prior Word. and have not accomplished those goals. And Please. then I use the lack of me accomplishing those goals to define myself as a person and as an artist. And Word. And those, no, that's, yeah, that's yeah. not what we want. Yeah. No, that's not what so, we want. So um, simultaneously, those things are important. But you can't begin to set goals around those things if you're not even educated on how that works. So I have learned some things. <laughs> and I'm definitely applying them. But really... The goals around the project are just to now have people to have be able to have a full picture of who OAO Joe is and what OAO Joe brings to the table. Um, Cause I feel like between yeah between my little pockets of 11th Ave and Colin and yeah then Urban Lights and then Ozone, you know what I'm saying yeah. now. Now we can figure out Creative what, Minneapolis Create Shout oh, out Creative Shout out Lizesh <laughs> Man there's so like, I could just Honestly I could do a whole interview With shout outs No cap <laughs> These could be really long For real Yeah um, like, I could Yeah and, and, Shout out yeah. Mac House too I oh, think yeah, I did my yeah, first yeah, official yeah, show yeah, At yeah. Mac House Yeah Mac Yeah Shout out Sir Jones Man He put me on uh, He used to be push. Uh, push Push <laughs> Push I mean So yeah man Um, But, but truly the growth RSMG um, Rock Solid Music Group. Yeah, I yeah. just start, I just found out about them. Yeah. Man, yeah, Mill City Collective. I mean, it's like it's endless. Like it's it's really endless. So, but any other goals? Yeah, any other goals you want before? Yeah, I mean, my goal after after I drop this is to be um, just more more consistent. Like I said, word in in every way. Um, tra- I- like I'm a writer, but I I transparently like really have not written in over a year mm. transparently reach out I, 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 I'd like to I only have one artist right now but I'd like to get into managing more artists so like and like not necessarily like okay I'm like your manager but like this is one project and I will help you with like that one and then word like, you know what I'm saying like, right into I would love to sit down I would love to sit down well, I already yeah, I feel I like we connect on out. just again that vibrational that genuinity hey. you, 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 you work with the youth you know what I'm saying I work with the youth you for the people I'm for the people sometimes I feel like they're running me over but hey who are you telling I, I'm shit I am a youth and how I'm <laughs> oh god but um yeah. yeah man goals like elevation man on any and every ascension ascension for real um hopefully by this time next year i would have dropped i would say three singles at a minimum which i already have two of the three so that's that's one a quarter yeah you know that's um, very definitely more visuals Where? Uh, all the visuals i have right now are collab projects i don't have anything solo so um but yeah just really i would say i've planted a lot of seeds but i'm really looking forward to watering those seeds so, excited to see where that takes me. Word. Hey, yo, you've been staring at the city. This is Nathan. Oh, yo. Yeah, anything else you want to say? Anything else you want to add? Shout gratitude, out to man. Gratitude for you for having me. For real, for real. Like, I really appreciate it. For real. All right. Um,. And like oh, uh, one thing I like to say is like this might you know we're in the age of TikTok this could go anywhere in anywhere. the world if you got one thing you want to say like to someone randomly in New York scrolling you know what I'm saying like what what would you say? There's power in your individuality. Mm. There's power in your uniqueness. There's mm-hmm. only one you. You are the one and only you. Tap into that power. Respect. Peace.